uh, or if you want, I can also align your video on the stage if you want. Yeah, yeah, just the, put it in a place there. There is, yeah, just the whole thing is easier because you're used to yeah. virtual space. Yeah. Virtual space. That's where we live. Yes, that's where we are. I think I'm on top. So I'm there with this, but I have to say for the last uh, lunch, uh, we had to use um, GSP because it become, became really complicated to do it on hops. Uh, yeah. Are you, which which side are you facing? You uh, on this way, right? Yeah. Just, okay. just put yeah, put your image close. Yeah, I'm gonna be. How do I, I fly? Like don't move! Don't move! Say it again. What? You want to do what? Flying, like I mean, how do I go with flying mode, like with the with the avatar? I will let you know later. Okay. Uh, okay, let's just put ourselves. Oh no. You're really big. And I will be big as well, just to be yeah. consistent. Not hierarchical. Not hierarchical, yeah. That's important. That's the theme. Well, not the theme, but something. Uh, I will pin myself and then I will pin you as well. You are pinned. So we should be ready. Uh, yeah, wait, because. Okay. Um, uh, okay, I'll hide this. Wow, man, this is such a thing. This is not best practice. This is, this is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we, we do it this way today, and uh, next time we can choose if we do it in hubs uh, or uh, GC or something, because this might be a lot of work. Let's see. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a practice. But I okay, but I was thinking I was about to say like we talk about later. We are I mean this is the play we have been saying this since Friday that we met. We are saying we talk about later because we were trying to save information about the practice for the conversation, right? But now we are in the conversation. Sorry, what do you mean? That we the whole time we have been when we are talking about like something, morning. yes, but now is the moment that so I, it was just a reflect that was trying to tell you something about the practice. And I said, like, we can talk about later. And then, I mean, this is the space for talking of that. Yeah. So I don't know if there is just to give an, a bit of an introduction, actually, because we just like usually how we do it is just a chat. So we just talk. But uh, I think uh, because there are actually well, seven users, which means I have two users myself and Jorge has one. So four people are here who are who might be listening or not. Um, okay. And like we, we never like give like proper introduction that I'm Naoto and is uh, Jorge. And we, yeah, we just do um, best practices in contemporary dance. That's a session we're doing every week. And we have this kind of special edition for Node Forum inside hubs which we usually do it in zoom or live lab uh live lab is something similar to zoom but open source for performing performing arts let's say and uh yeah uh, and it's just like casual conversation so we just start keep talking and if any of you have questions just just write uh in the the bottom bar or you can just interrupt us and ask questions or give comments that would be great and you have to you should come to close to the stage to hear better to hear that yeah 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 
because I wrote in the chat. It's going to be recorded, yes, so um, if you miss it, you can still watch on YouTube later. So yeah, so you said, yeah, so I, I don't know, I, I shouldn't, I, so I think the, the point is that we don't really keep it like formal, so like as a, I, I'm kind of used to like being like a facilitator in these events, so I have to be like, oh, okay, so I have to tell everything yeah, about yeah, what I'm, we're doing and why we're saying this, but I guess we just like skip this because uh, I want to keep it easy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like, right, we have been saying that like we keep important topics conversation for this chat because when we just talk in real life, it's not like recorded, which is funny, I think. I mean, have a lot of people just start talking about, I think that, well, first, I think I have to say that when I was going up, taking the elevator after I have the lunch, I thought, oh my God, I feel a bit nervous if I will be performing, which is, and then on the, on the, on the way, I was thinking, oh my God, this feeling of performing nervous, like that's the kind of thing that I, I refuse from dance and that's why I'm not dancing on stage anymore. And and the, but because we are in a festival and then the the, the, the now we are here in the stage, <laughs> uh, the virtual <laughs> stage, then it uh, it it felt you know the pressure of of doing some yeah I think to, of doing something because what it what it frees me and that's what I love to spend the time with you and the practices and the best practices is because it frees it is actually empty space in my head. Um, because there is not a, there is not really a goal in what we do. So it just gives me actually more space, more air in that sense, because I feel it now in my stomach. I feel that I have less air than if I will do it at, um, at home, just you and me talking. Um, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, like, obviously I was, uh, checking some messages because I, I, so PC, that, but I think that's the whole point, you know, like we're yeah. in the festival and yeah, yeah. Like, no matter what we do, it's part of the festival. Like, what, well, like, you know, even if we just go to the kiosk and get drink, that's part of the festival. And, you know, um, yeah, so that already gives different feeling. And it, it's funny, like when I was saying yesterday, like it feels more like a residency and yeah, I started to think like, what is, what's the residency feeling? I don't know, like, uh, probably like you have more experience with like going, joining like residencies, but for me, like, I think I, the, the biggest one I had was like, longest one was like three months in Korea. And that was like, definitely like, you know, like this feeling of meeting new people for the like first few weeks and then just, you know, having weird friendship um and you know weird rhythm because we're like kind of living together and you know like but not necessarily doing something together but we have some interesting conversations um that is not recorded um yeah, yeah. but th this one was like like that because i think everyone was like kind of similar age and um last year when i had like one month residency in Hong Kong was a bit more different because like um, there was no like fellow artists but like I was with um, Raphael he's uh, who, who uh, was a friend of Neil and we were doing this Pathfinder thing I'm not saying I'm not trying to you know connect this in note but um, because he's older than me and he's more experienced so it's uh, but you mean what sorry but what do you mean with more experience like experience in dance or experience in, dance. in what I mean, but experienced, you know, in like life, basically, like dance, of course, but also like in, like life in general, because you know, because like yeah. doing residencies is, is it's not about like artistic practice, but it's more about life. I think. Yeah. I never thought about it, but I just came up with that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. So I don't know why why I started talking about this, but. Um, but it, it's, it's. I don't know. It's, I mean, I think you start talking about this because we are mentioned somehow that we are in a festival. So, yeah, something somehow you were you connected 
like that because I mean what I was just trying to say is I didn't want to sound as negative. I'm super uh, happy um, uh, to be here and and to share the time with with so different people. Um, it's just a reflection when I was just going up because uh, just feeling in my body. I uh, yeah, in my stomach I have less air in the left side. I, I could I could feel it. Um, and then it's just a reflection of, oh, okay, now maybe there is somebody. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, and now, like, I am just, like, taking photo because I now I was like, okay, I have to put it on the Twitter to advertise and blah, blah, and um, sorry. Uh, no, but, I now. Well. but this like again it becomes you know the whole thing with the festival and but i think it's interesting to think about like just relating us to like other spaces other people other organizations because we can keep this you know best practices as like you know really personal thing and just do it um in our like not saying a bubble, but it's a bit like, you know, kind of this idea that you have your atelier in, in a forest or something and you don't have like interaction with people that you just like create your own work and whatever yeah. you create is good for you, then it's good. And I think that's kind of beautiful, but also like, you know, we live in the society more or less, uh, we like it yeah. or not. And I mean, I I have a different uh, point of view from, from that because I feel that what we do, there is, a, because there is, is an experience that we are trying, there are just practices that we are trying, where we basically are trying to um, uh, try to, somehow I see it like we're trying to decolonize somehow the knowledge in terms of like binary, the way how, how structures are in a way. We are trying to not be in a structure, right? So we are trying to not articulate the language in a way. We are trying to not use imperial. I mean, that's what I mean with the decolonize the knowledge in the sense of articulate. You need to, in order to articulate something, you need to use the language, and the language is being imposed by the place where we're coming from. So, but I and, and I'm saying this because I think is if. We are doing something that somehow I feel it can bring some comfort or some relation to other people who somehow relate to what we do. Then I feel a, I want to share it with people. So then it's, it's so there are two different things. One is like me as Jorge as my myself, like how I can then have to manage myself to then let's say do. Uh, um, what is what is the work that I'm doing? Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I get I get lost in what I was saying. But I mean, what I was trying to say just because you said that maybe because we were reflecting about the festival, you said that maybe we should keep a more like more close. That anyway, we that's what we do. But I think that's beautiful, and we will keep on doing that because it's so refreshing. I think when we have the chances to be out, like here i feel it's more like as a responsibility for me to put myself together and then just do a bit of effort you know i was thinking already like next week i don't gonna have i don't want to have best practices you know like but then the week after for sure you remember when i was in puff because i was i have some deadlines i couldn't attending one i think and i remember that i really miss it when when i met you back in brussels then i thought this is good this is really good so I don't know how you see this, but the way that I'm trying to answer in what you said, the way how I see it is like, if I go, I, I, I want to share the message basically, basically, because there is not articulation in such as. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm kind of replying to this or not, but um, like what I really, like what I do is like, of course, there's there's this kind of self satisfaction in you know this practice, but also like I have always not the message, but like I think always I want to tell something to not necessarily people, but like kind of specific 
people, specific population. And I don't necessarily like try to reach as many as possible, but it's more about like if like if there's like hundred people in the audience and if I talk about something, I don't really think about like convincing like ninety-nine people out of hundred, but it's like if one or two people in the audience get something like get in, like inspired um that maybe that's too much but uh, get something from what i say or what i do that's something i'm aiming for and, and especially like in this kind of festival like it's always really difficult that um like things are really framed and like talks are like they try to you know like raise questions but it's kind of expected questions you know in a way that um yeah, like they have their own frame and theme, and um, it's it's not about like sh sharing something. Actually, this is something I talked with Jorge uh, while we were recording. But uh, I, what I do is really raw, and it's not like uh, we're sharing the results or we're not like um, performing. But it's actually we are showing the process, and we, in the sense that. Uh, we're really, um, how to say, vulnerable because we we cannot protect ourselves. Yeah, I, I subscribe with this idea that you said of vulnerability because for that's in the, coming from my background and specifically the way how I study dance. Then I study a thing in a really classical way. I think now contemporary dance is not like that. But then I, I think I have my own like my own issues and traumas within that frame of you the dancer you like being that thing because it's more like an, uh, uh, that body that is uh, all the, the charge that it has and being a stage projection all these kind of things so that i that it, it has been for me a process uh and that's including path the performing art forum uh, there is an art residence that i'm co-owner um and where this uh the process is they try to be horizontal and the same time uh the idea of softness yeah they put it more as softness than vulnerability um but i subscribe to your idea of vulnerability um yeah yeah, yeah. i subscribe to that, that idea it's funny like we never like kind of talked about this kind of direction but like I think softness is or like caring someone is really like important and at the same time like sometimes it's just like so effective to show how vulnerable you are like it's not necessarily like coming out something that it's but yeah like because you know i sorry about this uh, <laughs> i'm in the office so i'm really not just annoyed but i'm just distracted by this but um uh, what I want to say is, uh, like, for example, I talk about neurodiversity, and this is just like something that I have to say that, you know, I'm, uh, I'm really uncomfortable with how the world is, and I just have to say it, even though I'm really, like, not, um, um, yeah, like, comfortable to say that, but it's just putting out that, like, this, and say how um, vulnerable I am is just, like, the best way to to address and and it, especially it's like so interesting that like so many people well so many people yeah ask me like how is it to be autistic and is that like do you have like inconvenience being so and I was like of course like, it's, like so many things like I have to like you know tolerate like I cannot tolerate but I have to live with it but um, why I'm saying this uh, I don't know but I, I think uh, kind of going back to the best practice that we're trying to do, I think it's also interesting to say like how it is to do something raw, like not as a performance, but what is it to practice? I don't know. Yeah. Can maybe maybe what, maybe what we can say as well is a, a little bit of what is it like? Uh, basically, what we do is then we we try to frame uh, movement and digital uh, visual generative 
something, I guess. What we do is like we have a meeting like this one that we're having right now, and then I will create a composition based on a lot of green key, and then different softwares uh, or programming languages, and then I will send that image to Naoto. Naoto will do something with it. Maybe he will send it back to me and then create this feedback loop sometimes or not. But basically, the idea is between that, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, the, then just we mix between, we move from real space. So if I start moving here, and then I create a composition, then I do something with it, I send it to now to now to we'll do something with it. Sometimes he will send it back, we create feedback loops. And then we have this relation basically between the body and, and, and the meeting, the virtual meeting, right? Yeah, um, yeah. I I don't know what to. I, I sorry, I, I'm a bit lost. But um, yeah, like we always say, like this is like practice. But at the same time, like this is so um, like we're we, we're really advanced in a way. Like we never like noticed, but um, like if like for example, like yesterday, I had a chance to talk about like what I'm doing at the Hydra meetup in the. the yeah, like what I've been doing, and like it really like feels like oh wow, like people are like really interested in what we're doing, and it's something like not just we're playing with the toys, but we actually have something to share, and um, and also it's not like you know, it, I mean, it, it is really something uh, not polished yet, but it, it's really but, yeah. complicated. But yeah. I, I think that's the power. I mean, I think that's the 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 or i like to subscribe to that idea of the so two things that i want to say one is like i i i i completely i understand what you said in the sense that basically it's because we are what we do is like we keep practicing so anything i think that you will do in life and we have been practicing for six months already i think so we practice every week we practice for one hour and sometimes even more and we talk before and after. So basically we have been rehearsing since six months nonstop every week. So so the craft that we are just a framework, it already it start having some uh, more shape, I guess. And then then is when we start talking about now what are the constraints that we want to talk about? What are conceptually the things that we want to evolve? And all the topics that, that, that is slowly we start introducing when we have this discussion. And I think that, that that's what it makes it so relevant to have this discussion for us, for who are here to know, is that we need to have the discussion because since what we do when we meet to perform, let's say, to do the best practices, at that moment we can talk. Uh, or sometimes I go, I, I'm gonna ask the auto something that I cannot solve, uh, and that's part of the practice as well. You know, all these kind of things that happen in between. But uh, we need to have the space of talking after or before because the since the framework is not defined, it just we do it, we do, we do, we do. But there's so much happening in my body, in my brain, in my doing, with my feeling that I need, I want to share with now to try. I, I want to try to understand. I want to just basically share, I guess. I just want to share with the other person and see what is he. Uh, and that's why it's so relevant for us having this discussion. Do you think it's like, well, I think the sharing is one thing, but I think it's also important for us to like reflect on what we're doing and also have archive of what we've been doing. Yeah. Well, I mean, the way how I see it is, as I said, because I mean, we are two different persons. And then, like, my approach into the doing is, and that's why I try to introduce, I'm trying to develop it slowly uh, a speech. So meaning that conceptually, I need to start defining what is what it means, all this abstraction means more or less this word. And then from there, the next word. And then from there, the next word, in order to start uh, making something uh, more shareable in terms of language, let's say. Like, uh, yeah, language, English, let's say. But this is really uh, interesting because, like, it's something that, like, we kind of make the 
not theory, but more like understanding things in a systematic way, but that also might exclude some people because they have to like learn what we are talking about if we develop our own language, so to say. But you mean in the respect literally of the practicing or in the con on the con because I in a way I start seeing the best practice is everything that everything that we do, but I see there let's say the performative state, if we want to go to this idea of like Judith Butler of that was trying to this, this performative state. Uh, that is like the best practices that we have from nine to ten every week. Um where we don't talk and just we do, and then this is basically a lot of glitches and crazy dancing and uh, and pop songs and Rihanna and all these things in between. And then, and the other state would be try to be serious, or would we try just to actually just. I mean, it is serious. Yeah, but it was, what we try to do is articulate what it, that that is happening there, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I don't know if that was what you were asking. In, uh, wait, did, what did you, you say? Can you repeat what did you ask or you forgot what did you ask? Well, in a way that we become like a kind of too specialized, for example, about the best practices in contemporary dance. And our idea is to share it, but at the same time, it might be, you know, not being in our own bubble, but becoming a bit more like. Uh, yeah, exclusive. Wow. I mean, I hope it's not because one of the one of the reasons that I like do the the things that I do in my life right now is because I unsubscribe from from the stuff the art of contemporary dance in Belgium, the place where I'm coming from, um, because the state of the art of contemporary dance is self-referential, as in any other state of the art of field. They you need people to push those fields. Meaning that I understood at some point that that's something that I don't want to do. That doesn't mean that what I do is better. I'm not because I don't. I'm not interested in the hierarchical or in the binary thinking. I just understand that there's the the, the let's say the, the field that I'm coming from. Uh, most of my friends they work in that field. They are in the in in the ground. They are in the in that field. But my I I understood and I like to believe that what I do is try to uh, not be self-referential uh, in that sense. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so that's what I was saying that I hope that we are not getting that, uh, that we don't get, yeah, yeah, I don't know what to say. I just hope there is not like yeah. that. Right. No, as I say, like, I, I, I start to be, yeah, I get confused because like it's kind of two conflicting things, but I think what's important to think about is that we don't have anything like uh, something um, theoretical or conceptual, or yeah, I can even say conceptual in this, uh, well, not contemporary dance, but in like working with dance and technology, it's always, you know, cool people from dance and cool people from technology come and they just do something, but there's no like, you know, something that is developed as a, as a whole community. No, no. Well, I think there's, there is one of the places where I see there is relevance for what we do is because um, as we mentioned in previous discussions, then, and that's, that's something that is granted already in our talk, there is, uh, then the dance and technology, there is at some, there's often, there is a, one is at the service of the other one. So if as a dancer, as a choreographer, I I want to use technology, it's basically I'm hired, hiring services from technology. Um, but like really a creative process, I mean, I think the whole thing, and it happens the other way around as well. You know, like from a uh, design studio, you, you, can, you can hire a dancer to do just, do your dance, you, you, you dance for two minutes, we pay you, for your service of dancer and then we keep on doing or design things um yeah but like, i don't know why i was said that well because I, I, I forgot what you said uh yeah like the this kind of uh let's say the theory or the practice like this 
two parties working together. Or I, I would say that yeah. the assumption is already wrong that you know someone it has to be specialized in dance and not in tech, and there's other guy who's specialized in technology and cannot dance. Like this is already like kind of funny, especially regarding what we do as uh, two. Yeah. But I mean, the way I see it is like, I think I was trying to introduce that in order to uh, say this, that because um, there is not really clarity in what is the, that we do, let's say in dance or the visuals as well. And we keep on trying to just speak about those constraints and these kind of things. Um, then the space that is creating between is the space where I, but that's why that's the air that I feel in my stomach. That's the air that I need to, to that's the air that I feel like oh, here I can I wish I wish other people could feel that place where you can have some uh, basically even like hope or you know it, it just it feels like good because there is not a goal. And so if we go uh, and the, the whole thing is just framed because it's inside of a, a system that is, uh, it's a capitalistic system, so anything, it has to have an economical, uh, it responds to, to the economy, and then the economy is based in the binary. Um, so all these processes they become, are, are pragmatics, are, are pragmatics, but, and, yeah. yeah. Like, just to add, like, I think this is something I said to you uh, while we're not recording, I mean, we met in real life was that I think it's really fortunate that we met in a context that we're not like aiming for something like we we're not like I didn't approach you or you didn't approach me to create a specific piece that to be shown at specific you know festival or whatever like for example we're here but it's not like we aim for you know okay let's aim for node and do something for that it's more like you know evolved and then Jan reached out to me and then it happened like this but it's just a part of it and we're kind of you know still practicing and it's not like a set goal so far um I mean conceptually we kind of start to form what we want in, in some ways but it's not like you know we have the date for a premiere or anything and I think that's really like yeah. as as an artist I think that's really important to have that kind of practice. Well, I don't know. I think it depends on the person. But um, but let's let's say that, like for example, if dance tech collaboration happens, it's always really, uh, yeah, pragmatic and or like it's something that you have a set goal and you have to, yeah, like do something within that time. Very have concrete outcome, and it's not something that you let's meet and do something every week. And I think something that I would like to add on, on, on top of that is that something that happens now that you see with different people that do have a good uh, approach to technology, uh, I mean, interesting, um, is that because it comes from a field that is very pragmatic, so or engineering or design or let's say problem solving, then it's 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 funny because yeah, it just it feels that it, it's very cold, you know, it's very cold. Uh, while, uh, I mean, and dance is a, is a humanistic field, no? it's, a, it's a humanity field uh, in, in academia. So, but then when you, there is this approach of engineering, of design, that it comes more from a scientific point of view, many times it happens, as, as I share with you, with this collective that I'm working with, it sits, uh, these people that work with space and uh, this kind of things, but then because nature of them, most of them are, are, are uh, this, they're very they're bioengineering or this kind of uh, coming from this kind of fields, then they, they talk about humanity in a third person way, way often. That's the way who I met them. And they cannot recognize that. They, they, they're constantly trying to propose a solution. And that's something that I see often as well when I see in dance. And technology, there is like okay, we're gonna create something for motion tracking. Basically, there's a lot of uh, proposition for a problem, so, so problem solving. So the space, so this then going back to what just we said, then the space of softness is not so uh, evident in these spaces. 
because many times it's very costly for the production to give this. I mean, who's going to talk about, yeah, I mean, this soft environments in when you have to do these productions. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like if you have a production, then that doesn't make sense. Yeah. I mean, when I work with well, dancers, so yeah, like let's say I work with dancers as a kind of not technician, but uh, like digital artist, let's say, I try to be, try to have this kind of, not have softness, but it's, it's, I think it's always about like giving some room for um, like experiment in terms of like, I suggest things and, you know, try not to like, you know, one side is like kind of imposing something very concrete. Um, like if, for example, um, but, but it's a hard, like, if, for example, like if a dancer, it's, it's nothing like a specific story, but if, let's say like dancer wants to do projection, but maybe she or he did like, they did like a lot of research and okay, let's say like V4 is like a great platform, so please let's use V4. And then I'm but like always, I'm kind of the person who questions that does it have to be V4 or does it even have to be like video loop? Like, can it be like video loop or can it be like, like I, I kind of, you know, <laughs> I, I, I call myself lazy person because I try not, I try to think about like doing less and less development and try to put more um, like energy for this uh, artistic part and not to like over, over engineer it. And sometimes like, you know, like maybe if something doesn't have to be interactive then, or it doesn't have to be generative, like real time visual, maybe it can be just a video loop or um, yeah, like it doesn't have to be tracking, but maybe someone behind is like, you know, moving the cursor and try following the dancer, for example, which kind of adds something to it. it. I think it really depends on the concept. If it's something about like very yeah, technical uh, thing is like important in the concept, then it's probably like kind of cheating. But if it's something about the relation of the relationship of the, the lights in the, the space and the body, then it doesn't necessarily have to be like a proper body tracking. I don't know why I said this, but yeah. I think I, but something that's, uh, for me, it's really interesting. Yeah. And they, they asking these questions, like not straight, like going from this, like, for example, like motion capture, or can we use this specific technology for like heart rate or whatever. But like, my question is always like, do we really need it? And I think because the dancers, uh, sometimes they don't know what they need to use. So I'm more like a consultant to you know, propose ways to do it. But also like, this is like, I think I can do it because I have um, a little bit of experience in these collaborations. And um, yeah, I, I know what what's available as a tool. But if this is like, for example, like if the dancer, um, they contacted, um, for example, like engineer, then they would be, you know, like, or even like willing to use more and more technologies in the work and that gets really messy. And I, I, I see that that happens often in this kind of collaboration as well. No. I don't no, know what I, I mean. Say. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe I would like to bring something from the notes that we have from the last time. Um, yeah, we were talking a bit of this. Okay, this is actually, uh, so now we have been almost for 40 minutes. This is, I mean, we have been doing lately psychological thing. It's part of the thing, no? I, this is part of what we do. It's just the life itself. So we do this, but I guess because it just it, it came, it came into the festival, now we have been allowed to doing this. Uh, in that, in this reflection, uh, but let's get so back to the juice. So then, uh, about uh, intentionality, about intentionality and, and vectors. Uh, so that's part of the thing. So that we work. Uh, that's an idea that uh, I I, prop I mean I kind of I just share it with Naoto to see what he thinks, uh, because I see it 
that was so while performing in my camera. So uh, my so there is a camera here, and then so then I move. No, then I do what I have to do, and even though I'm here not facing the camera because I'm performing, then I, the, my intention is still is there. So my intention goes, my intention is still will be going, it's like if I still would be doing here while I'm here, because I know I'm in a video conference with you. And so, yeah, so maybe, you, can you say something about this idea of intention, intentionality? Oh my God, again, the dance studio moment. Can you share your experience in this uh, now? And also like we kind of, not the circle, but uh, kind of make the circle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's good to like that I said this the dance studio moment because it's I'm not like pointing out this is awkward or this is like you know this I don't like this but it's just like kind of started to like this becomes like a language or like the shape that start to form a shape that you know this kind of question is dance studio kind of moment this kind of question is uh, more uh, how we do chat um, but. Anyways, um, but it's still, it's still the, the question is technical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, yeah, I, I remember the question this time. Um, so the intentionality and the vector, and um, I don't know. Uh, I didn't really prepare anything about this question, but the funny thing, like today, I I was uh, at first half of the lunch was happening in hubs, and then we went moved to Jitsi. Um, but when we were in hubs, like it was so weird that um, we have this dining table over, over there, and uh, you don't have to see it now. But what happens is like you put this image of yourself, like what we have right now in the, on the stage, but actually the avatar is not there. Like avatar is a bit far from the the sure. images, and yes. what you can do is like you have the dining table and you put yourself the video on the other side of the, the table and you're sitting like facing you and having lunch. And this is also oh, like, yeah. you're facing that. Yeah. And actually this is something that happened this morning when you said we were in the dance studio and you were yeah. holding the phone and you right. were talking to me, but I was in the same space, uh, but not, not on your hand, obviously. Oh, cool, no? And this was like, can, can you can you can you uh, share again like what what it happened like this morning? Uh, yeah. Like yeah, what, what it happened? When, when we were yeah. So we were moving together in the studio. Jorge and I were there. In the workspace of Allah. In the workspace of Allah. In the workspace of Allah. Yeah. Thank you, Allah. Uh, Thank you, sponsored by Allah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should make up. I should she's, make up. Here. I, she's here. Thank you so much, Allah. Your 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 colleague. He was very surprised. Yeah. So I. No, it's actually there. nice that you guys are hosting the session here in the space. Oh, the text went somewhere. Um, oh, uh, thank you for coming. And <laughs> so it's good that I, I mentioned this. <laughs> what is that? I see Allah Ala is a dog. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you were so yeah, so can you say so what did what did happen? Okay, so I just uh, No, I was going back to Naoto. Yeah. Yes. So uh okay, what happened was yeah, we were both uh, Jorge and I were in the studio and uh, we were in the same video conference and what happened was that uh, we were looking at each other on the phone. But like, where I was laying, down. I was laying down. I was laying down yeah, yeah, on the floor. Down, yeah, I was like, I put my phone in front of my, the, the chair and like trying to you know fix the phone so that I can have like, a view of the space and so on. And um, yeah, so I was like looking at the phone. So Jorge was you know looking at me, but I was somewhere else, um, um, like in the corner. And this like, because you hear, like I'm, I'm talking from, you know, like I, I say something and for listen to that, like not 
from the speaker on the phone, which also like kind of created weird coexistence in the same space. I mean, this is something that we use a lot. I, that, I think that was one of the, the, the first things that I, when we start sharing, doing the practice that, that I found very interesting is that I could get lost because sometimes we were reverbering so much, we were doing these feedbacks. So then sometimes my arm, it was cut in different places. And so, and then at some point, it, it is not my body, but wasn't a mixture between my body and your body. And then at the same time, sometimes even we were trying to talk, and then there's such a delay that, I mean, the whole confusion comes the reality. The reality is the confusion. You can, I mean, you, you step away from the, oh, what is happening, what is happening, until you are in flow, what we were calling the flow. And the flow on you are, just you are there, and you are just in trance of, whoa, 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 just taking it, taking it. And for me, it becomes very traumatic. That's why I use sometimes this sound, because it, I, I feel in this trance. Yeah. But yeah. I have to say, like, so we actually already tried this this practice, uh, thirty minute version, uh, a few days ago, uh, which we will do tomorrow uh, at nine European, I think. Um, I always have to say this. You can find this link in this talk and blah blah. Um, <laughs> you you will find it. If you don't find it, you're just not lucky. Um, so. <laughs> The app on the app, you will find it on the app as part of the official schedule. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but anyway, so you were saying, yeah, you were saying in this space. But what we were saying is when we were moving together, because we were in the same space, but yeah. uh, separated by a wall which has green screen on both sides. So we were like, the that. first time they were doing that, right? In the same space, first time. And I have to say, I was, it was so difficult for me because it's so distracting because I feel the presence of Orvi in the back and I just couldn't move, like, because I always have to, like, kind of, like, I try not to think about him, but I always feel it and feel the presence. And what I did at the end is just, like, listen to music and just with my head. And uh, just move. take off your shirt and go crazy bananas, like because I saw you, you were like really going for the dance. I was like, oh yeah, there he goes. <laughs> uh, and then we were, you were just really going for the dance, and that was really cool because I could see you. Because then I was using the space and sometimes peeping there, and then I, and then you were just like with a, with a t-shirt, and then just like yeah, yeah. It was very cool, man, to see you. Yeah, yeah. The the reason why I was half naked was just because of the well, not just, but I, it was like something that made me the dance we do, and also it was something that um, oh, because of the 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 video effect that I was using, that I thought it's better than like I was wearing black, that black color didn't appear on the screen, and um, my skin is like lighter and it appears better on the screen, but I was not like actually showing the, the original color of the skin. So it was not obvious that I was like wearing something or not, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, but so that's why like I was playing with that too. But yeah, so I, I'm curious like how it's going to be like in, in the practice tomorrow, because yeah, yeah. Um, I think we will not prepare, like pre we prepare the technical setup, but we won't. Like, Today we just have the yeah, to, 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 tonight we'll just prepare the technical setup at some point, but that's it. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's, it, I don't know if it could be as well for your sensibility, but for me, like I could be as well, it's because maybe, I'm, as I shared with you and uh, Allah yesterday, like I have my 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 scars and my my trauma in dance. So then when I see somebody, so for me dancing is like it's difficult just to really get just really dancing and you go for the joy. And then when I went for instance, you were going for the joy, like really of dancing. And then then I just have you there. Then I just peeping. And I basically what I'm doing is I'm hacking your energy. It's what I was doing as well with you with Ada and you yesterday. That's the way. It's a positive way for me to, I just take part of this energy, this, this life that is being created there to try to clean, to cleanse my my own uh, trauma thing. Um, 
Yeah, so what I code it too. I, I feel like so uncomfortable like coding and like I, I really hate coding, I have to say. Uh, but I haven't had that moment with you. Like you have to have the joy of coding and then I can just watch you coding. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are part of the constraints what we talk because like then it's the body, then we have a code. That, that's a part of the constraints. Like, but you know what? Actually, yesterday, as I told you, it was the first time I did a solo. You do something solo. And then in my solo, as well, I did it just for seven minutes and I published my, my Facebook as a, as a public thing. So if anybody wants to check, they can check it on my on my name as public thing. Um, then I was at some point then just uh, moving some numbers. Of course, I'm not going to move so many numbers because you, you have more experience than my coding. The, but then, but then I still I was doing something with the, and I was in the flow, like I, of yeah, in the flow of the coding, let's say, when I was alone. And then when I finish, I have to think in, okay, well, maybe I can do something like that with you. And then right away, immediately I remember the conversation and then this is gonna work like that with, and with you because you are there. It's the same thing where you're doing your solo. Then you can do cool stuff. You, you 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 are in control. I think that's another element that is interesting for saying is that what we do, and that's the beauty of what we do, is like that we are not in control, and we work with a machine that actually is supposed. We, I mean, the the medium is the machine, and the machine is supposed to be controllable, right? If I am alone, but because I'm with you and you are part of the constraints, the control is gone. And that makes the beauty as well, because then I have to deal between my fears, my desires, and the things that I know, things that I wish, and all the, all in between. No, but sorry, I, I didn't get like you said. When you are alone, the constraints are gone. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, let's say let's say the the constraint you. It's gone, you know. Like I mean, maybe let me put it better. Like I have more I have control. I mean, I mean, somehow the control is there because you are not there. So yeah. So then I have control of the machine is there for me while you are in. So in my constraints, you are not existing. But when we are doing it live, you are there, and I don't know what you're gonna do. Many times, sometimes when you're even when you're writing the code. I more or less I know where you where you're going, so it's, and it's, that's part of the dancing that we do. You know, it's like very, I see it as a Latin dance in that sense. Like I see it as a couple dance, and then we do in between. I go together, I go alone, I go completely alone. I go and peep, I go with you a little bit, and then just we do this couple dance. Yeah, and computers don't do it. Uh, no, I mean, let's say you can play with randomness or something when you, I mean, what I'm saying is it's all about control. Let's say this is relevant for the conversation. If for other people, let's say it's not to follow up like the developing of a conceptual something. It's just it's like about control. When I'm alone, I have more control of my constraint, my variables. They, as a choreographer, I will see part of the elements that I can use in real time for composing. Um, and once you are there, as a new constraint, because you are alive, I don't know what you're gonna do. So you yourself, you come with tons of constraints that I cannot prevent. Right. So yeah, I I, I think there's so many things I want to expand on it, but um, also like the. Well, we're not like really strict on time, but uh, if there's any questions from the floor, I, I'm really curious to see a uh, well, question or feedback. If yes, else. I would like to hear somebody. So appreciate it. Yes. Allah, we love to hear what you think. <laughs> um, can you hear me? Yes. If you come close, come close even, it will be better, but we can hear you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, first of all, thank you guys for sharing this and for sharing the talk and insights with us. Um, I found this very interesting, like your input, you as a dancer and you as a visual artist, um, especially the, 
the, um, the point where you said that it doesn't really have to be interactive, where you are actually creating content that is uh, maybe inspired by the dancer, and then this can be developed through rehearsals and so on. So it doesn't really have to have this interactive, real-time wow effect. It just has to be really working coherently with the, um, with the dancer and vice versa, because I think also like when you are rehearsing and working together with, with the dancer, then maybe the dancer would react to your work and you would react to theirs. And this would make or create maybe a more valuable experience than just, okay, something is moving and then you just see the movement of the dancer um, affecting it, but really no content is being developed. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, this is my view on the matter. Um, are you guys planning to do any live performance? Yeah, tomorrow at nine, from nine to ten, we we share the practice, uh, and it's in, in the schedule. You will find a link to follow and to join the will be a similar space. Yes. From nine to ten p.m. tomorrow. It's gonna be this, okay. this same place. The, the same, same stage place. Okay. Yeah. So when we can go down and to meet for a coffee. I just want to add one thing to what uh, Ala said, and I, I, I really, uh, yeah, thank you for that. Um, I think it's, I, I really feel like um, glad that someone, you know, kind of resonates with this idea. And also, like for me, it's really important, like how this, um, this practice I do with Jorge is not like, you know, we create something, we prepare some kind of interactive whatever for the session, but we kind of build together during the session. And also like, like Jorge said, like one time it's, it's like a, about interface and this network and this computer is an interface. And it's like, if for example, if the dancer is like moving with a particle, it's like the interface is there and also, but it's like, the dancer and the particles or the system is interacting and it's it's always like hard to make it the hierarchy you know well hard to make it horizontal it always like makes the hierarchy because someone has the control over something uh, it, most most of the time it's a human that is dictating and uh, but if we do this practice then you know we're we're all like kind of equal i wouldn't say equal but we are equally there and um, oh, what, time, what time is it? What what is this? Um, yeah. So okay. So yes, just just want to say that it's it's really important for us to do it like in this format. So uh, actually, it's kind of related to what Jorge said about the solo thing that we do with the computer and not with each other. But uh, yeah, like it, it's good. It's, it's really important to do it as. Uh, Yes, two that we're not like uh, I'm controlling everything on the computer. I'm control. I don't have control over Jorge, for example, and he doesn't have control over me. And that's that's that really creates uh, like totally like different um, workflow and process compared to a practice compared to the usual dance tech collaboration. Hmm. So, um, yeah, I guess I just, oh, yeah, do you want to add something? I just wanted to ask because I just checked, um, are you based in Cologne? Yeah. I am, um, yes. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, because I'm based there and I do also <laughs> such performances, but mostly in Berlin. But yeah, it would be interesting to see if you are performing um, live somewhere. Oh, you can always see me online. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Answer, yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming, and uh, yeah, uh, let's finish here, and we can have real conversation with beer later. Yeah, we go down. We meet in the ca in the cafeteria. Okay. Uh, like now, yeah, we can do it.